Hey guys, this is Roisin from Sweet Eve Signs and today I'm going to teach you how to design a 3D shaker and spinning cake topper. First, let's start with the moon shape. So select a moon from the left hand side shapes panel. Make it bigger so it's easier to work with. This moon has quite angular edges and I want them to be more rounded. So to achieve this look, I'm going to apply an offset. I use 0.2. Now select both moons and slice. And then you will need to delete the two inner moons as they will no longer be required. I'm going to build my frame from here. So I'm going to apply an offset. I use 0.1, but you may need to mess around with it slightly. Then I applied an offset two more times. And that's the frame of your shaker done. I'm now going to go in and change the colours using the right hand side panel. This is an optional step, but I like to do this to help me visualise the project in my mind. Now align, centre and group. You now need to duplicate this shape and weld it together. Go to contour and hide all contours. Change this to grey. This will represent your acetate. Centre the back, centre and group. Rotate your moon slightly just to get it in the position that you want it to be in. Mine's just slightly off centre. We're going to go into our images and search for a banner. I will add the image number into the description box. If you type this number, including the hashtag, into the search box of the images, you'll easily find this banner. Now we're going to move our banner into place and we're going to unlock it and pull it down slightly just to make the banner slightly thicker but not necessarily changing the width of the banner. And then I'm just going to resize and position. Select all and group. Now we're going to go into images and search for one of the stars. Again, I will add the information in the description box. Resize the star and duplicate. We want two stars, one slightly smaller than the other. Change the colour to suit your theme. Also change the colour of the banner. I also forgot to mention, make sure you duplicate the backing of your banner. This will give us more dimension when we're assembling the topper. Centre the back, but make sure that you align it up nicely with the other banner so that when you weld together, it's all one shape. Now we're going to find the shooting star image. Information will be added in the description box. Resize your shooting star. You may want to also unlock it to get it to the perfect size. When you're positioning your stars, you need to consider how they're going to spin. So you want to make sure that there's enough space between the stars and also between the star and the banner or the moon. I also forgot to duplicate each star here. This is really important because as they're spinning, you want to make sure that they look the same on each side. Change the color of your stars. Now select all and group. Hide this image using the right hand panel and the eye so that we can work on the text. Search for the font Aldine. I'll put the information in the description box. This is the Cricut text, so it's already in design space. We're going to use this text to type out the word baby. Ungroup the word and then move the letters closer together. You want there to be just a slight gap in between each of the letters. This will help with the offset. Be sure to align at the bottom and then group. Make your text slightly bigger as this will help us with the offset. Then apply an offset. I use 0 0.13, but you may need to mess around with it to get it exactly right for you. Apply that offset one more time. Now 
Now change the colour of your fonts to match your theme. Duplicate the backing, the most outer offset of the baby. Again, this is going to give us more dimension when we assemble. Centre the back, align, centre and group. Now we're going to unhide the original image so that we can position the baby where we want it to be. You're going to need to make it smaller and just smooth it around until you're happy with where it's positioned. You need to make sure that it's not too close to where your stars are, again, not to restrict the spin in motion. Now group and hide. Now we're going to do the surname text. So go into your font and look for Amalfi Coast. I will put the information in the description box. You will need to download this font as it is not in Cricut Design Space. Make it bigger. Ungroup the word and then move any letters that need to be closer together. Group, make sure that you don't weld as this will affect the offset. I'm going to apply an extremely thin offset to this text. The reason being is that it's very intricate and sometimes the machine can struggle to cut it. Just adding this slightly smaller offset of 0.04 makes it easier to cut on the machine. Today I'm going to show you a slightly different way to retain the smaller parts inside of the letters, for example the inside of the E. You're going to slice these two words and then what you're going to be left with is just the outline of the original text. Delete everything else go into your contour and then unhide the bits that you want to see. For example, the inside of the E, the inside of the S and the dot of the I. This slightly thicker text will be much easier to cut. Now change the colour to match your theme. Now I'm going to apply an offset. This time I use 0 0.13. And apply that offset one more time. Group. Change the colour of your text. Resize and unhide the original image. Resize and position where you want the text to sit. In this instance, you can see that the L is going into the baby. So I'm just going to position it and make sure that I send the baby to the front and reposition again. Rotate the text if needed. Depending on the name that you use, it's going to look very different. So you're just going to need to play around with it until you're happy with where the baby and the surname sit. It's good if they can connect at one point. Select all and group, and that's the main part of your topper done. I forgot to mention, make sure that you duplicate your acetate. So at the end of your design, you should have two acetate pieces. Send this one to the back. Group and then duplicate. Hide the original. Head over to your right hand panel and delete both acetates and all of your stars. Now weld this together. This will act as the backing for your cake topper. If you want to hide your stick, then make sure to duplicate this shape again. Align center and group. Unhide the main original images. Send your welded images to the back. Align center and group. And there you have it. That's your Shaker Spinning Star Cake Topper. You can use this for many things, 
baby showers, naming ceremonies, christenings, or just for general birthdays. If you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for quick tips and hacks. Please be sure to check out my other tutorials. I add one tutorial to YouTube per week and the assembly tutorial for this video will be out next week. Thank you and take care. Bye.